Hey guys, it's me, Shankar Banda. Welcome to my channel. This is my first official or public video, whatever you want to call it. And today, I'm going to be talking about a common problem that many iOS users face, and that is that when they try to download a new application to require the latest iOS, their old iOS device, which may be on iOS 7, iOS 8, iOS 9, and iOS 10, prompts a message saying that this application is not compatible with this iOS device. And so today I'm going to be showing you a workaround to this problem, which always works for most applications. So be sure to watch the entire video, like, share, and subscribe. And so now let's get right to it. So let me first show you the error message that's prompted when you try to download a new app on the older iOS devices before showing you the workaround. So right now I'm going to go try downloading Reddit which requires iOS 11 and this is iPad mini one is on iOS 9 so obviously it should prompt the message which says this is not compatible with this iPad right it's not compatible so what so what you're gonna do to fix this is very simple first what you're gonna do is go back home or to your featured in this in this you're gonna click on this Apple ID you're gonna see what Apple ID is enabled here you're gonna click on it and it's gonna display it here. So now you're gonna see, once you've seen it, you're gonna go on a different iOS device, which is, and you're gonna to go to settings and then you're gonna go here, where it says iTunes and App Store, you're gonna click here and you're gonna click sign in. And then you're gonna put your Apple ID and your password. So now as both the Apple IDs are the same on these two devices note that this is a very crucial step for this workaround to work that the apple ids are same on, on both ios devices so now what you're going to go do is you're going to go out on your latest ios device in this case it's my iphone x and you're going to go go to the app store and then you're going to type reddit let's i already have it here and then you're going to click get or download and then i'm just going to download it and the download should have been started. And now it's Reddit, it's downloaded here. We can just ignore this for now. And now I'm going to go back to my iPad mini one. And instead of typing Reddit here in the search bar, I'm going to click this purchase tab here. And I'm gonna click, I can see now Reddit has appeared here. So now I'm gonna click download. And I'm just gonna enter my password. And now since now I've done that, and now it's gonna prompt this message saying, do you wanna download the last compatible version? So basically that means it's not gonna have the latest version of Reddit, but it's still gonna have the an older version of Reddit which supports I, this iPad mini. But this means that you might not have some features of Reddit made like the new ones, but you, you're certainly gonna have a lot of them which you, which you currently are missing out. So now you're, you're gonna click download. And as you can see, the download has started here. So here we have it, Reddit is now downloaded. And yes, voila, there we go. And this not only works with Reddit, but works with a lot of major other applications such like Instagram, D Discord, Twitch, and many more. So all you have to do is follow these steps that I've stated here. And, you're, and this should have worked, and this should work. And this not only works with an iPad mini, but also works with any older iOS device, such as the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the iPod Touch, iPad 1, the iPad 2, and all the other previous I I iOS models. I hope you found today's video helpful and informative if you had this problem, and now your problems are solved. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Bye. Oh, above the sea, and this story stays with me like a haunting melody.